When we think of intelligence, our mind jumps to humans, dolphins, and maybe even artificial neural networks, but rarely do we think of the cells that compose our bodies. Dr. Michael Levin's groundbreaking work challenges traditional boundaries of intelligence and agency, providing new perspectives on selfhood, God, and the meaning of life. If you enjoyed today's video, check out the link in the description below. I first discovered Dr. Levin's work through his appearances on the Lex Friedman podcast and Kurt J. Mungle's Theories of Everything. He was the first person to introduce me to the idea that human intelligence isn't confined to the brain. Instead, it's a hierarchical system that operates at multiple levels cells, organs, and the entire bodily system. This concept radically reframes how we think about consciousness, showing that it's not an on off switch but a continuum of intelligence. One of Dr. Levin's most compelling ideas is the morphogenetic code. Traditionally, we've been taught in biology that DNA is the blueprint of life. Levin's work reveals that DNA is only part of that story. While DNA provides the raw materials, something else determines how these materials are assembled. This he calls the morphogenetic code, which operates through bioelectric signals that guide cellular behavior and organization. This discovery raises profound questions. If cells communicate through bioelectricity, can we interpret or even rewrite these signals? Dr. Levin's research suggests that we can. In experiments, his team has shown how altering bioelectric patterns can induce cells to form entirely new structures, such as regrowing lost limbs or developing functional eyes in unusual locations. Levin's work extends beyond biology into profound philosophical territory. He suggests that the boundaries of the self are not fixed, but are instead determined by the scale of goals an entity can pursue. For cells, the goal might be healing a wound, for humans it could be creating art or colonizing other planets. This framework reshapes how we think about alien life. In his words, I don't think we can rely on any of the typical stuff, you know, carbon-based, none of that. The things that are going to be universal are driven by resource limitation. The fact that you are fighting a hostile environment which results in a boundary between yourself and the world. Through this lens, alien life might not look anything like we can currently imagine, but it would share commonalities in terms of its information processing and goal setting capabilities. Levin envisions an anatomical compiler, a tool that could allow us to design biological systems by specifying desired forms and functions. This system would communicate with cells to guide their behavior, essentially leveraging the bioelectric software of life to repair defects grow organs, or even create entirely new biological entities. Perhaps the most profound impact of Levin's work is how it challenges our understanding of selfhood and existence. If intelligence is not confined to the brain, but exists as a spectrum across systems and scales, then our sense of individuality dissolves into a network of interconnected intelligences. This realization has deeply spiritual implications. Dr. Levin's research invites us to think of life as an emergent property of countless smaller intelligences working together, a perspective that echoes ancient philosophical and spiritual traditions. It suggests that what we call God or the universe might itself be a vast distributed intelligence, a morphogenetic code on a cosmic scale. Levin's work reminds us that reality is complex, layered, and alive with agency at every level. Whether you're seeking to understand the origins of consciousness or the potential of regenerative medicine, his insights provide a roadmap for exploring the mysteries of life. For these reasons, I consider Dr. Michael Levin the most important living scientist. If you enjoyed today's video, I encourage you to check out the link in our bio and to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great Christmas and holiday season. Hope to see you all next time. Cheers.